Hey guys, Dark Celestian here, and today I am back on the Unremarkables SMP. Now, my agenda for today is fairly simple. I'm going to the mining dimension in search of some rarer ores. And hold on, I'm going to quickly just put the chat back online. All right, I've got eyes as well. <laughs> There we go. So, not much has changed really around the house. I mean, I've got a couple new rooms. And if we go through here, through the magic room, right click that block there, I got myself a little sugarcane farm with an obsidian chest for when it starts, you know, producing sugarcane on the map. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought the door closed itself for a second there. But no, the door did not lock itself. <laughs> then if we go into the bedroom with some of my trophies from Twilight Forest. And we go in here. We've got this little room, which is going to be my Emmy room. Which will make my storage room obsolete, but I can just find something else for that. Or I could just set up the Emmy system in there and just have that as my science room. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, as I said, today we're going to the mining dimension. And to do that, I just right click this suspiciously outplaced wood. Okay. I'm just going to quickly add portal just so I can, I know where to go to get back. Now, this is the same mind dimension, like, thing that was used in last seasons, with the one difference of the fact that it's a different one. Ah, hey dude! <laughs> How's your day been? Just currently on a modded SMP, as you can tell by the laser right pick and feather right armor. Uh, what is actually like? Oh, emeralds! Considering I have a little villager section, the emeralds will also come in handy. So they aren't exactly what I'm here for. I'm more on the lookout for searchers quartz from the applied energistics. <laughs> uh, I'll gather some iron whilst I'm here too. Every time. Okay, anything up here? Oh, oh, some more coal. Anything else up here? Nope. The coal is helpful because A, it provides necessary experience to heal the pickaxe. It's also good because I can trade it to villagers for additional emeralds. <laughs> okay, that should be enough coal for now. Uh, I would have, but obviously I want to try and focus on what I'm doing here. I hear you, skeleton. This is what I'm here for? Uh, no, that is osmium. For a second there, I thought I'd gotten lucky and found what I needed already.
I'm not sure where that Wilden Hunter is, so I should probably keep my eye out for that. I have found the A Wilden Hunter. Why do you always insist on attacking me, summoned doggos? I don't want to hurt them. They really do leave me no choice. Uh, I think this is just more Osmium. Yep. <laughs> oh, so one of the things on me, uh, like on my person, I'm not sure if I really demonstrated it. Uh, the little slippers, the little kids, uh, cat slippers. Oh, look what this creeper does. <laughs> it makes the creeper run away from me. Uh, it's kind of cute that they they always think I'll let them live. And that is why we uh, try to aim only at the oars. Because I have Vein Miner. <laughs> Which is how I'm able to gather the oars so easily. Uh... I want to quickly check something. So that's just like actual nether quartz quartz. Uh, they're just quartz crystal. Okay, but can I only get it through the through the dust? Can I not get it from the mining dimension? Wait, no. There is there is ore. Okay. So we get set as quartz. That's also like different things. Automatic shape crafting, the uncrafting table, throwing a seed in water, the enrichment chamber, or just finding the ore. Okay. Now charge set as quartz is a bit harder because I need to put it into a charger, but that's not too hard. <laughs> just a matter of, you know, finding the ore itself. That's the complicated part because Minecraft. <laughs> so probably, do I have fortune on here? I do have fortune on here. I should probably get some higher and breaking. So I don't have to go mining as often to restore the pickaxe. Otherwise, I will run out of resources for it. Okay, well, there's nothing down there. Head back up here. Ah, uh, the multi-jump from Featherite is so useful. Uh, another small Osmium. I know I said that was enough coal, but to be fair, it's good for experience. It's good to trade to the villagers. It's just all around good. <laughs> well, for me anyway. Uh, I'll just try to get as much as I can to keep healing the pickaxe. <laughs> Sorry about that, I nearly sneezed there for a second. Hmm. I'm not actually finding much osmium. No, not much osmium, much quartz. Or certus quartz. Yeah, like, it's meant to be looking like that. But I'm just not seeing it. That's osmium. Obviously, that's copper. You know what? I can trade copper for at my village. I don't know. <laughs> I can trade copper at my villages, so I'll gather up some copper too. What did it give me? Ooh, stack and a half. 
Truth be told, that's not bad. What's also not bad is the amount of experience I'm able to get. Thanks to the fortune. Oh, some more copper. Obviously, with mining the blocks, I have to be careful not to vein mine everything. Because that would not be helpful. Oh. Ah. Ah. That was close. Normally, I can jump up three blocks, though I think that was four. Hence why I kind of just flop. Flopping is not good. And especially, well, it doesn't hurt my armor. It doesn't really hurt me that much because I, on my boots, obviously I have mending, protection for, and feather falling. Which helps reduce, which helps to even further reduce the feather, the damage I receive from full damage. Hey, an emerald. Hidden emeralds. Anything else? Nope. <laughs> well, I'm, I can obviously branch off to different areas, so that's not a problem. Just a matter of making sure to hold shift so I don't accidentally vein mine my way through to them. That block from. Where is that block, anyways? Oh, it's just a little cluster of coal. Okay. Hmm. Get back here, you two. Obviously, the only question about branching off is which direction do I branch off to? Uh, I don't know, let me just quickly check the map. That does not help. This. This does not help at all. I have. Uh, the mini. I should have known the mini map wouldn't be useful. Hello. You. It appears there's a similar thing potentially north from here? I'm not too sure what it is, but. Let's go and find out. And gather a lot of stone on the way. So it should be the one. Oh, some coal. So I should theoretically be over or under what I saw. So that leads to the question. Is it up or down? Uh, considering I am at 3.2, I would say it is up. That was a bit of lag. <laughs> it has to be up from here. Because there's nowhere else it could theoretically be. I mean, I still don't know what it is. Like a little, little chamber. Potentially a mob spawner? I'm running on the theory that it's a mob spawner. Obviously, until I find it, I haven't got the faintest idea what it's going to be. That is if I can even find it. Like, <laughs> it's saying it should be around here. And all I'm doing is doing a spiral as I'm going up. Some osmium and some coal. Take that for the experience. <laughs> I 
Okay, I am seriously confused because I'm not able to find what that is meant, what it was meant to be. Like here I am going up and up and up and up, and I can't find out whatever that was meant to, <laughs> to actually like hold. I can't keep going up forever. Can I? Fun fact, I have no idea how high the mining dimension goes. It's... Why is it dropping cobblestone? That's not how the pickaxe is meant to... Oh! Hmm, that is unusual. I mean, hey, a raw iron helps because I can cook it up when I get back to my base. But, like, <laughs> it should be giving me the cooked version, like I did with the Osmium, or the Plethoras of Stone. Three. One, two, three. Come on, get in the hole. You know what? Hold on, let's just quickly let's use the mini map to go exploring for things that we can find. But heading back down the perilous pit. <laughs> Hopefully, these entities don't cause too much lag. Ooh. I mean, it would be fine, right? Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, let's see what happens with the copper. Yeah, it just turns into the... like... It could be because my inventory was full? I don't know. Throw some things into the backpack and see what happens. No, it's gone to cobblestone still. I mean, hey, the coal is helping me fix it, so I ain't complaining about that. Grab that coal there, too. More coal means more emeralds. More emeralds means I'm able to heal my pickaxe. And healing my pickaxe means that I can keep mining with it. Because laserite, the ingot that was used to upgrade my netherite pickaxe, isn't a fun thing to try and get. <laughs> and I say that with utmost certainty, it is not fun trying to get laserite. Not for the fact that it's hard, like, heavens no, it is, like, tediously easy. Hold on, let me show you. I've got a good idea for what the quarters I'm looking for. Blaze right ingot. It is literally just four blaze rods. It's easy, but annoying, because that means I have to go near the blazes. And had I had the blazerite armor, that wouldn't be a problem, it grants me fire immunity. But I chose the Tommy in it of my uh, origins armor. Okay, am I above or below? Hold on, let's check my court. Oh, and I can't 
really tell. Option, video setting. Where's my GUI scale? So that monster spawner could have been down because I was reading the coordinates wrong. And eerie noises you can burn in hell. Same as this baby skeleton. Children, I swear. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought, skeleton. Thinking you can dance with me and survive. <laughs> I am literally one of the gods of this world. Simply because it is hard to kill me. That is what has earned me my status of god. The fact that I am just so obnoxiously annoying to get rid of. I'm not in a bad way, like they're trying to make me go away. I mean like to the mobs and things that are trying to kill me. Especially with the twin blade here, hold on, let me show you. <laughs> I can attack mobs from behind. And there's literally like no cooldown to the sword. So I can just keep spinning. I can just keep going if I wanted to. There would be nothing anything can do to stop me. Okay, I think that's uh, yeah, that's where I came from. It's not the normal GUI scale I use, I normally use three. But for right now, two is fine. But personally, I think that's enough for the mining dimension. Because I'm not finding any quartz of the second. But I will spend a lot more time here, maybe with additional vein miner pickaxes that I don't mind losing to the Shadow Realm. In searches for it. So I did have a second agenda for today. Technically I now have additional additional plans because getting all this coal from the mining dimension and the copper i don't really need the osmium right now so that can go back into there uh the iron can sit there for now i'm gonna quickly throw this into the blaze furnace we're going to quickly go visit my villagers, because I gave some of them their work blocks, so they're always revamping, the, like, resetting when they get full. Which will actually help me with what I need over on the bubble SMP. I'll just give them their job block. Chain <laughs> plating? Uh... All right, cool, I suppose. Uh, how are you, Mr. Potato? The potato is fine. Farmer Journeyman. A good source of <laughs> emeralds for potatoes. Now that I have said hello to my villagers, I have an abundance of coal left over. We're going to create a couple of new spells. Because I needed experience for them. Which is another reason for going to the mining dimension. So the first one we're going to make is the ignite spell. And just... Oh, I have to give all of the required ingredients. Alright, alright. Get wrecked. <laughs> really thought I didn't have all of them, huh? Yes, again, 
buddy boy. Okay, and the other one was this one, interact. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to make this one now, because I don't know what that orange substance is. <laughs> so, we're going to quickly go into Ars Novu. At Ars... And we're going to see if we can find out what that's meant to be. Uh... Here it is. Manipula manipulation essence. Magical essence created in an imbuement chamber. Okay. So, a source gem. I'll just put a source gem in there. Do I need these additional things to get this? Okay, well, I definitely have all the requirements for that. So let's quickly give it a check, because I have the imbuement altar, so why not, right? Potato. Just dump a bit of the coal in there. By a bit, I mean all of it. <laughs> uh... Okay, where's... I know I have a clock in here somewhere. I just don't remember which chest I threw the thing into. See, this is why I need that EMC system. To make my chaotic storage a bit more organized. There's the clock. There's the stone button. Uh, wrong one. There's the redstone dust. There's some more stone if need be. Then I needed a source gem. That chest. Okay. I have all the things that it wanted from me. So we just put the source gem. Is it pedestals? Hold on. Um, the worn notebook. I mark all as red for now. Uh, resources. No. Uh. Magical equipment. Okay. Bangle, Enchanter Sword, Jar of Voiding, Chalk. No, not there either. Entry Index. Maybe this will help? I mean, I personally doubt it. But, hey, it's the only way to really know. I wish there was a search bar. Wait, is that? Oh. This does help because it kind of makes it bigger so I can see what I'm doing. Uh... Manipulation Essence. That is a weird one. Source steel, apparatus crafting, source pyromancy, world generation, upgrade, starting automation, obtaining source gems. No, I, I know how to get source gems. Hmm. Think it's. Nope. Uh, nope. Trades. Nope. Broad generation, source berry, arc of movement, uh... Okay, so... Wait, no, I should... This, this is showing that I should be able to put the 
source gem into the impugnment chamber. Wait. Okay, let's try this. Uh, no recipe found. Pedestal must be within three blocks. I think it was a button. Clock. Redstone. Source gem. The pedestals are within three blocks. They're right next to you. How do I... How do I do this? One block around the chip. Be placed within one block around the chip. Okay, want to play that game? Aha! Get dunked on. <laughs> I have no idea how long this is going to take, by the way. But I'm going to potentially speed it up here by grabbing the source jar and just placing it right there. So then the source will transfer from jar into this. See? Okay. Oh, hey, it didn't consume the items. That's actually pretty nice. <laughs> and I just put that there to start refilling again. And I could still reach the altar if need be. Empty out my hands again. One and two. <laughs> All right, now let's see what else I need for that interact spell. A pressure plate and a button. Well. Jokes on them. I already have the button. <laughs> okay, uh, pressure plate. Two pieces of wood. Bada bing, bada boom. And if we go back into here, we interact with this by clicking on the spell, obviously. Then select manipulation essence. Pressure plate, leather, 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 <laughs> not leather. I don't need the remains of a cow, I need the weird redstone switch and the glyph of interact. So we can test that second one out pretty easily. Go to spell number three, projectile, interact. Open Destiny. I know that's probably spelt wrong. It is most definitely spelt wrong. But. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. I wonder if it works on chests too. Wait. Let's see if it works on chests. Uh, first, let's test it on the. Start off Wilden Hunter. Okay, what about what about a chest? Okay, it doesn't seem to work on anything other than le like potentially a lever, a button, or something like that. That is still cool. But we're gonna make the secondary spell. Projectile ignite. Oh, I can't amplify the ignite spell. Oh, shame. This will be... Fire spell. It's basic, it's easy to remember. So I'll know exactly what it is. Yeah, that's... Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me with my little cat slipper. And, I mean, I can still, like, scroll through the spells by pressing V to go to these ones, or X to circle through it. There's a little animation in the... Like, if you look at the bottom, when I... Oh, wait, it was. I think I broke it. <laughs> uh, that's... that happens. 
gonna quickly just turn off chat again so I don't so I can end off. Text overlay, opacity, cat size. Okay, there we go. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for coming out. As always, it does mean a lot to me. If you want to see more of the Unremarkable or any of the other content I've made, please do check out the YouTube channel. If you want to, you can subscribe over there or follow me here for the live streams. If you just want to get up to date notifications on when I go live, you can always check out the Discord. Or if you just want to have a nice place where you can talk to me outside of streams, the Discord is always there for that as well. And if you did enjoy, please consider liking and subscribing if you're on YouTube, following if you're on Twitch. It does mean a lot and helps me to know what kind of content you guys like to see so I can make more of it. And as always, Darth Celestian, signing out.